This is DMG and welcome to the DMG Info, a channel about creating all kinds of things from household rubbish, where we're going to create D&D style terrain, creatures and all other manner of stuff. And in this video, we're going to talk about a bearskin rug. <laughs> Tis the season to be breaking stuff, and I broke my camera mount both in the little spool at the bottom and also cracked the arm as well. Don't ask me how I do these things, I just manage to do it. It's cheap junk, so I bought like another five of them. So I'm going to grab the top of a pizza box. Obviously, I have used this one before, so I'm just continuing to use some of the scrap from the previous build. And I'm going to draw out a splattered, <laughs> spread out polar bearish shape um, of course this can be anything of of any size depending on how you want to do it i'm just doing it at this size so i'm not really going to give you any kind of measurements you can just create it as you like don't need to have amazing drawing skills just shape skills then we're going to grab some string uh, you may call it twine depending on where you live in the world and we're just going to unfurl a whole bunch of string just you know just a whole pile like a lot oh wait, there we are okay then we're going to grab a large paintbrush and start to wind this string around the paintbrush. And uh, better to do it from the bulbous end towards the thin end. And you can then use some masking tape or painter's tape to tape down the edges. And then what we can do is drag a line of hot glue down the center of this entwined string. And now you are thinking, what the hell is he doing? What on earth is he doing? So you can go over this several times. Make sure you want to get that hot glue to to sort of ooze between the pieces of string. And you want to do this again on the opposite side as well. So And then use the, <clears throat> the actual heat element at the front of the gun to smooth it out and push it between the string. So when you pull it off the... Um, paintbrush you get this tube and then where there's no hot glue in the center get your pair of scissors and cut right down the middle and then flip it over and in the center again cut all the way down the middle so you'll have two of these weird centipede hot glue things um, centipedus hot gluus they call it scientifically um, and just cut off any little bits and pieces that are hanging off. Then through the middle of the hot glue, and this is why you want to have hot glue spread out a little bit with the heat nib of the gun. Uh, you're going to cut right through the middle of that so that you've got these strips of string ends with hot glue on the end. Okay, this is all gonna make sense in a little bit. So um, yeah, then we're going to start to uh, put some hot glue across the back of this creature with the and then place the hot glue part of the string into that hot glue and continue along now the mistake i made was i started from the top i should never have started from the top of this creature you should actually start from the bottom and then the string begins to overlap so i basically began again from the bottom and I'm just going to use boots of speed to boot us, boost us towards the end of this. You see, just basically lines of hot glue and layer on these string centipede half things um, to bu build up a mat of fur created by the string on this template for a bear, owl, bear, or whatever kind of big furry creature you may have eviscerated. Then we're going to get a. Um, styrofoam ball now you'll find these in dollar stores and inside certain products and things you'll find these sort of things of course you can use anything that's going to give you a head shape i've just cut it in half with my craft knife i'm going to pinch the end and then use the heat nib and hot glue from the hot gun to kind of form the eyes and snout um, of the bear creature I'm not going to go into super detail with the head. It is dead, 
So um, if you did an owl bear or something, you may want to then create a beak. You could use some cardboard or little pieces of plastic or something to do that. I'm just going to keep it simple. And then you stick that onto the cardboard base you've created. And all the little off cuts, if you, if you just trim around the edges to clean up the edges of your uh, fur carpet, mat, whatever it is, then you can pull all those together and then place hot glue on the top of this and then stick all that onto the top of the head so that you've now created the fur technique all over the whole skull of this creature. Then we're going to grab 12 t um, toothpicks and using my amazing scissors of cutting, uh, pushing into the back of the scissors and then hot glue into the um, pore area and along the edge of the pore area and then stick in each of the ends of the toothpicks. And you do that for all four. Um, that's really easy to do. And if, if you've got a nice good corrugation, you can just stick it into the corrugation. It's nice and easy. Then around the base, just going to do a little bit of texturing with the hot glue gun underneath the template just to have the sort of dry skin of the creature. Then we're going to grab some blue, brown, I almost said blue, but if you're doing Care Bears, you can use blue um, because, you know, a good eviscerated Care Bear is, you know, what every party should endeavor towards. So using brown, just work the brown into the string. Um, you can use a little bit of water um, as you go. Uh, not too much because you don't want to saturate and get the cardboard warping and all, all that kind of thing. And just go over it totally on the top and on the bottom as well. And then work in some white paint into the string as well. And you'll see I'm starting to get some of those little bits of lines. I'm going to use that for actual markings on the bear. So I'm going to use a, a marking down the spine and also going to do along the legs and things. So that we have this nice little um, marking motif on the actual creature. And there it is. About the Care Bear comment. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. <laughs> That's right, a bear skin rug. You gotta love these little critters. You can make a whole bunch of them, lie them all over the show. And of course, if you're doing the 2.5D method, 2.5D monsters. If you'd like to financially support the making of this channel, check out the dmg.info forward slash store. And of course, you can purchase a variety of different products through there. And of course, do not forget the like button. <laughs> if you want to receive notification of when these videos come out, click the bell that's next to the subscribe button. Do that because there's some certain things that are coming up where you're going to need to get notifications. Of not just the videos, but also other interesting things. So don't forget to click the bell. So this is a video that YouTube recommends. Down there is my latest video I've just put out. Of course, up here you can subscribe to the channel. And down there is one of my other channels that you can be begin to remain within the craziness that is the DMG universe. It's like Marvel, only nowhere near as cool. Well, it's way cooler. <laughs>